Hey everyone, look what we got here. We got Babylon 5, The Great War. Now, if you saw my other videos, you saw me open a box of Babylon 5 here, these collector cards, or these CCG cards. And then you also saw my other video of the Shadow War, where you open up this box. Now the sequence they go is that you have a Premier set, and I do have a box of those cards coming, they're the Human Race cards, and they work on the race, the Narn race, the Mambari race, and the Centauri race and the human race. And then they add a little bit more. But right now we've already done, so uh, we have the premiere set and then they released the shadow set. After they released the shadow, they redid a, did a re-release of the deluxe edition. And the, the deluxe edition had, was the premiere set plus the fixed cards from the box sets, the starter sets. And they had eight uh, cards a pack. The shadow, uh, shadow set, had what was it 12 cards a pack but only had 18 boxes in it boxes uh 18 boosters in it so what we did is we already opened up one box of this re-release basically we're gonna put that aside we will then open a box of shadows and that is this box and now we're gonna open up the third set in the series which is the great war and that's what i'm gonna stop with babylon 5 for a while so let's go ahead and get this thing opened here and use the scissors here because we want to keep the box looking as nice as we can as well as the cards within. All right, and if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, I like to open up mine with scissors because it keeps even the bo booster, uh, keeps the card safe, but also keeps the booster package looking looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there. Let's go ahead and. I want to make a comment. When I opened up this booster pack, the re-release here, there was a special card in it. Um, and it looks like the Great War has the exact same thing as well. When I opened up the Shatter Pack, it did not have one of those. So in here I have Return to Ideals. It's an event card. We're going to place it on the side right now. Um, and this card is not necessarily part of the set and is not on the checklist. Um, every box I've opened up has one of these big um, papers for a checklist for it. This seems to be a bigger set. Um, the Shadow War had one column for, co for commons, second col column for uncommons, and two columns for the rares. It looks like this is like double the amount of cards. I have one booster box right now. I have another three on the way. But we will be going through the checklist later. Well, we will check the boosters to see how they are as we open them. Let's see what we have here. So there are ten packs of boosters in every box. And this one has ten cards in every booster. So let's put this to the side right now. These to the side. We're going to keep this checklist available. I have a pen for right here as well. And this is where I'm going to remind everybody, if you guys like what you guys are seeing, let's go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, which is the thumb pointing up, and go ahead and share with your friends. All right, here are our boosters. Uh, today with me, actually, my dad is sitting on the side. He doesn't really know everything that this partakes and what, what's going on here, but I figured I'd share it with him. So let's go ahead and cut these boosters open. So those of you that have also watched my my, my uh, videos, when I uh, cut open the boosters, I want to make sure I'm not cutting the cards. So I'm going to do one for you right here. This is how I like to open up all my, my boosters because it keeps the right nice package but also protects the boosters inside. So I'm going to check all my packs right now. And... Again, I like to have nice, clean cards. I got many, many boxes of cards. Even those cards I used to collect as a kid that were square cards. And so they, I wouldn't recommend opening them this, opening up those boosters like this. Uh, you can cut the boosters, but you also have to tear open the back too. Um, I've opened some magic card boosters where the card Cards are so packed inside that I have to open up the back back here because, again, you don't want to damage your cards. So, 
I want to keep them nice. Those of you that want to get a ranking of 10, if you rank your cards in how well they are. Um, let's see here. All right, so what we're going to do, we're almost done here. And we're going to start seeing what these cards have in them. Also, um, I like to see what order they are. I noticed that the shadows, the first three cards were uncommon. The next two cards were rare cards. And the last seven cards in the pack were our uncommon. So I really don't know what to expect from these booster packs. But we will find out shortly. And we will find out by checking off a, a list of them, of like three packs worth right there. Also, um, remember what I was going to say here. The not knowing what to expect. Oh, that's right. So I have never actually played the Star Trek Babylon 5 game. I'm in the process of learning as well as learning the... Um, Star Trek CCG game. Star Trek CCG has a huge learning curve to it as they created each set that came out. I do not know about Babylon 5 and its learning curve. Um, I do know you play in a bastard, it sounds like, and I'll learn more when I get a the box of humans from the premiere set. Um... So I have, a, again, a learning curve for this, but I'll be doing v videos to instruct how to teach through the Star Trek CCG and the um, Babylon 5 game. I know that for sure. Those of you who want to learn, those videos will be available. Um, I highly recommend you start, especially with the Star Trek CCG, um, with the Premiere and you work your way up with each set uh, because again the learning curve will just confuse you. My friend plays, he's played for years and he beats me down with his cards and so every season there's a new card I haven't learned so <sighs> the learning curve you know with every generation of cards the cards get more powerful so if you're going to start with just the first premiere set you need to have it in your group rules with your friends that we're all playing the same set until you learn so all right let's go ahead and see what we have in here again this is the third set for Babylon 5 we're going to open up the first pack here see what we have in, uh, in store for us let's move that over there so again I really like the art and I like seeing the Babylon 5 on the back of the cards so that's pretty good, but there are a lot of events in this. So let's find out exactly what we have here. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. All right, so, all right, we're gonna have to use this today. Um, so affirming, affirm, off, affirmation of support. This is an event card, uh, and so it is a common card. So. In the shadows, what is it? The the shadows set. The uncommons were first, but it looks like the first thing we have is a common card. So I'm gonna place that up here. Um, see, we have another event um, match. I can't even read some of these things. Um, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's a common though. Yeah, it is. Second card is a common. So we're gonna put that in a row. Trade War is an event card. Let's see here, it's down here, I'm sure. Trade, 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 trade Award, right there. So third card is a common low-level conflict is an event and low-level conflict right here. And so we have a non-aligned location. Shabba 3, I think is how it's pronounced. Sh Shamba 3. So, let's look in the common. I have a feeling it's uncommon, though. Sham. Yes, so let's look in the uncommon category. And... 
There we go, Shamba 3. So, so far in all the series, location cards tend to be uncommons. So that's my first uncommon. Then, Rumor Monger, Mongers. Yeah, that would be Malari's, uh, one of his wives, I think. Um, so, Rumor Monglers. So, yep, uncommon. So that's our second uncommon. And so, Defense Planet, Defense Fleet. This is a Mambari fleet. Let's check the uncommons. Let's see here, Planet, Defense for Fleet. So that is our third uncommon for the pack. So I'm guessing, let's see here, Shadow Fleet. So Shadow Strike Fleet, Shadow. Shadow Fall, Shadow, Second Squad. Okay, so let's look at the rares real quickly. And, okay, that's actually interesting. We'll talk about that in a second. So, Shadow Strike Fleet. Shadow Strike Fleet. So, this is my first rare in this pack. Hidden. All right, so let's let's mention this. So I have my rares on my backs. So I notice I have non-aligned starter decks, opposing faction decks. So I have a feeling that these cards are going to be found in there. The last two cards, but let's double check here. Hidden pressure. All right, I was wrong. So uh, hidden pressure is actually a rare. So these this this booster pack. Has two rares in it. And then Paralyzing Injury. Oh, that was a sad episode. The end of Season 4. Um, it's an Aftermath card. So Paralyzing Injury. P.A. And... Huh. Let's look over here. N. M. It's not there neither. So that's very confusing. Let's check the rares again under P for paralyzing. So not here. So we might be going to uncommons. Um, paralyzing injury. Injury. So we're in the commons. P par paralyzing injury. There we go. So that is a common card. So our last card in the booster is common. So. I noticed, again, through here, we have uh, more than three sections. We have the common, uncommon, our rares. We have a st uh, non-aligned starter deck and an opposing faction. So there is a possibility that we may or may not get cards from these sets. So we'll have to keep an eye open that. We're going to, again, check this out in about three boosters, and then we will just be opening the boosters. So let's go ahead and go to the next pack. So we know the first four cards in the pack are our common cards. So we have Hostile Reaction. Let's see here, Hostile Reaction. Right there for common. We'll put that with our common cards. Um, Labor Strike. We all know that from Season 1. It's an event card. Labor. Strike. Right there. And then we have Reap the Whirlwind. See, it's an event car card with the ship, the Agamemnon, Mon, I'm mispronouncing that, Agamemnon, Mon, which is Captain Sheraton's ship. Um, Reap the Wind, let's find that. Are Reap the Wind, the Whirlwind, sorry, and then Garrison Duty. Garrison Duty. Another event card. Garrison Duty. There we go. So those are our first four uh, common cards. Now let's look at the three next cards, which are going to be uncommon if they follow the pattern. So we have Underground Telepath. 
that is a character card that's neutral. Underground Telepath. There we go. Uncommon. We then have Intelligence Gathering, which is, oh, Character Continuance. So that is a new type card I have not seen before, so I'm going to put that over in another area. So Intelligence Gathering. Intelligence There we go. Intelligence gathering. So a character continuance. So we're going to go ahead and put that over there. And then we have a human fleet card, which is a carrier group. And carrier group. There it is. So three common, uncommons. I'm going to leave. Well, we'll put this over here in the common section, but I'm going to turn it to the side because I... I want to remember that. That's a, another uh, group of cards. So we have now our next two cards, which I believe are our two rare cards. And that will be Shadow Character. Alright, so Shadow Character. Um, Justin. Justin. Alright, so that is a pretty cool card. Again, I like to have character cards. So our next card is Defeated, which is a Lost Aftermath card. So Aftermath, Defeated, right here. So it looks like we are following that same pattern. Ah uh, yes, Bester, Victorious Blow. Another character continuance card. So, uh, but it's going to be probably in our common category. Um, Victorious Blow, right there. So, so far, in two packs, I've not gotten any, any of these. I'm going to do one more pack this way. And see what... What's going on with this. Because I think those are going to be starter decks only. But they put it in here anyway. Um, Alright, so... Going back to our commons, we have Unpopular Intervention. See it right there. It's an event. Um, trade War. We have already received this card, so put that up there. Peace Accord. Right there. And... Reap the Whirlwind, we also got that, that card. Um, that may not say much about the, uh, the randomization of these booster packs, though. Um, any of you that have seen my Star Trek CCG Premiere booster pack opening, know I was really depressed doing that because I got the same thing over and over again. I got duplicate of the same items three times in one booster pack, and in the same bat pack I got a duplicate of another three items in one booster pack and in that same pack a duplicate of two items in a booster pack so I find that very obnoxious and annoying anyway moving on I lost where it was there we go so we are now entering our uncommons so this is a conflict card officer exchange so officer exchange right there our first common card. So this is our neutral character. Um, Galor, I remember him from the series. He was a from a fight club basically type series or a kickboxer uh, type thing. Um, Galor, so he's a neutral character. Galor, there we go. So we'll put that with our uncommons. And then finally, it's resp res Resupply Network. This is a group card. So Resupply Network. Network. There we go. All right. So now our two rares in this group is... Oh, I got another Zathras. Okay, so uh, I may have to at some point uh, in my last booster pack, I... 
I think he says he has 10 brothers, but I had Zathras, Zathras, but not Zathras, and then another Zathras, and this is yet another Zathras. So I got Zathras, and Zathras, and Zathras, and Zathras. All right, so we'll put that in our rare area. And this is Shadow Tech up Upgrade. This is our first enhancement card. Um, Shadow, T oh, I need to mark Zathras. Because I don't want to get him, oh, I don't want to get him confused with Zathras over there. So this is our rare Zathras, not our uncommon Zathras. And it looks like there are a Zathras under the rare, a Zathras under the uncommon, and another brother Zathras under the uh, uncommon. So, um, yes, I'm going to hopefully get all the Zathras. Um, Shadow Tech. How many times in one video do you think I can say Zathras? All right, Shadow Tech we're going on. All right, so Shadow Tech Upgrade. So that is also rare. So, yeah, it's staying with that pattern, um, but I'm not... Getting so fake, so I'm not getting any of these cards from the non aligned star decks and opposing faction decks. So, if those of you who want those cards, you're, uh, you're gonna have to uh, probably buy those sets outright. Um, and you probably have to buy several bo boosters or starter boxes for that. I do not know if I'll do that, but I'll let you know if I do. Um, Okay, so factor fake fate favors fate favors. Uh, try to say that fast three times fast. Fate favors. All right, it is a continuance card. What are the cards? Continuance. So, um. I'm going to put my uncommon here. I am now going to take and stack my rare cards over here. I am going to take my uncommon cards, stack them next to the rares, and then my commons and stack them next to the uncommons. And I'm going to put this new conflict contin contingency. Well, we'll figure that later. Um, it seems like it's a new card. Um, contingency card. So, a new set of cards, which will add to some kind of um, game depthness uh, in the game. So, we're going to set this aside right now, so we can go through the packs a little quicker. And then we will organize them in another video. I just wanted to get a sense of order, because last thing I want to do is go be searching for my rares. All right, so let's open this booster. Let's see what we got. We got an event card. Um, Cloak and Dagger. I really did like his character. Marcus, that's his name. Time of Dis Dissension. There we go. Trade Sanctions, another event card. And Pushed to War. Those are our common cards. We're going to stack them right there. Uh, no, we're going to stack them right up there. I'm going to do this the same way I did the Shadows video. So my Uncommon cards, those are going to be the next three. We have uh, my first Agenda card, which is Feast of Strife. <clears throat> right there. I'm going to put that there. And then we have a Non-Aligned Location, which is Mel Milata. Mila, Mila, it's a planetary location. And then we have a non line character, Tula Ka Vit Lok. Yeah, I've never heard the character, so I'll put that over there. Um, and then we have our two rares. This is a major agenda. So this is the first time I think I've seen a major in there. Uh, but it's just a no, it's an agenda card. So the Path of Conquest. And then we have an event, Unexpected Activity. And then our last common, common for this group is going to be an Aftermath card, Battle Hardened. So we'll put that right next to the events. Next booster. So this is going to be our fourth booster out of the pack. Oh, I'm sorry, lied. Fifth booster. Alright, our common cards are going to be 
Permanent Loss, it's an Aftermath card. And then we have Put On the Squeeze, it's a Conflict card. And then we have, oh, jeez. I need to make sure I do not lose my order here. Um, I think that was two. So we have Telepath Recruit. It's a character card. And then we have, let's see if I make, yep, yeah, okay. So we have one more here. And then we have What You Are. It's an Aftermath card. So put the Aftermath up here. We'll put the Aftermath together, the Conflict, and then the characters will go right there. All right, and then we have to do our commons. We have Reaping, Inquiety, it's an event. So I'll put that there. Fate Awaits, it's a, a global enhancement card. And then we have Heavy Losses, which is a, a Aftermath card. And those are on commons. All right, so this is kind of exciting. Um, I have another human character card. This is called Sheridan Reborn. So this does answer a question I had in a previous pack. So in the reprint of the premiere set, I got a Sheridan card. And I was really excited about that. And this is Sheridan Reborn. So it does show that you get multiple of the character cards that we all want to see. All right, so that I'm going to put with my... Actually, I want to put that up here in my special location area as a rare. Um, not with those I've already checked off, though. So this is the uh, Shadow Symbolt. 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 It's a conflict card. Again, it's... Uh, Malari when he's really old. So that's my second rare for the pack. And then I have a common, you didn't mean that. And it's another event. And a lot of the events seem to be, uh, a lot of the commons seem to be events. So I think they're played a lot. All right, so, um, taunt, taunts and games, an event card. I do think that's funny. All right, Security Crackdown Event. That's the second one. I'm going to start putting them here, though. And then, um, oh, that's what I did last time. I'll move these up here and put these in front so I can count them. Um, Bog Down, an event card. And The Greater Good, another event card. All right. So those are my four events, or my four commons, they're all events. And then I have a no, another non-character, it's G-Neb, G G-Neb, that's my first uncommon. Plans Revealed, Dis Diplomacy Conflict card. And then I have a Patrol Fleet, a Centauri Fleet card. And this card reads, this fleet gains plus three military while opposing military conflict. So I don't exactly know what that means yet. But um, it does say that, you know, there's these points of military that are going to be used. So those are our uncommons. Now let's look at our rares. So my first rare is first one protection. So that seems pretty cool. So again, it's for the about the first ones. And it's a it's a character continuance card. So one of those new type of cards I hadn't seen before. Uh, the Augamendon. Augamend, 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 Mendon. I can't pronounce it to save my life for some reason. I must be really dry. Um, it's a human fleet enhancement. So that to me is a really cool card. Because again, you want those primary names that the series made us love. And that ship is actually one of them. Um, Alright, so then we have another character contingency. This is in Impositive, improvised, improvised weapons. So, um, this is a contingency card. It's the first time for commons I common I have that, so I'm gonna put that next to the event, so I know I can find it quickly. All right, next booster. All right, it's a character card. It's comments, Lieutenant 
David Corwin. I don't remember him actually having a name, but I remember his character, so I'm happy to get that. So it is a character card. Where are my characters? Right there. All right. All right, this is Lurkers. It's a group card. I do not have groups yet, so I'm going to put that next to the character. And then I have a, another Fleet Contingency card. So put that next to the, uh, the contingencies over here. And that is a uh, Picket Duty. Hmm. All right, all right. And uh, as I said, I cannot wait until I get another Zathras. I'm sure you guys are so happy to know that I got Zathras and Zathras in this one uh, booster box. So we're going to put Zathras right here with the first of my uncommons. So uh, just remember Zathras is there. Yeah, say it as many times as I possibly can. I like Zathras. All right, second. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm wrong. Hang on here. That, uh, sorry, Zathras was put in the wrong place. Zathras is actually a character card that goes up here. He is a common Zathras. Hopefully I'll get the uncommon Zathras soon. No, I did not do that on purpose in order to say Zathras many more times. All right, now we're going to start our uncommons. So second squad is my first uncommon card, not Zathras. <laughs> and then chain of command, a mil uh, an aftermath card. And then be a said report. B I S beside report. Um, it's a uh, enhancement card. So those are my three uncommon cards. My two rare cards. The first is going to be a Volon Fleet, a Volon Strike Fleet. My second is a conflict card called Plague. And then my last common is going to be All or Nothing. It's an event card. Wait a minute. I have, oh, five, that's, that makes sense, five, you end with five common cards. Ugh. Let's put that over there. All right. As you open many, many packs, you, you're used to certain patterns, and it's hard getting to new patterns, but you, especially if you don't know what to look for in a common or rare, um, it's hard to pick out, pick out what it's going to be. So I'm going to note that in a second. So my first um, common is going to be Sacrifice Play. Second common is going to be Mu Tai Experience. Goes with that character card. Um, you Didn't Mean That is an event card. Um, and then this is, is, uh, is a somewhat badly cut one. If you notice this one corner right there, there's a little thing hanging off of it. Um, and then some of the paint on this card was peeled off in this section. So uh, it's not as badly as the collectible cards I opened up. If you watch my Star Trek 1991 old generation uh, TOS cards. Oh, that was so horrible and sad. All right, so those are my four commons that I start with. Now let's go to the uncommons. We have Diplomatic Instructions. It's a conflict card. Let's move this up here. We have an agenda. It's a media mogul, mogul card, but agenda. And then we have a conflict strike at the heart, which is where Sheridan jumps down and he's about to sp and he's nuking Zaha Doom. So yeah, let's let you look at that. All right, nuke Zaha Doom. Zaha Doom. All right, non character. Um. Hang on. Um, Shakar. There we go. Okay. For some reason, I just can't pronounce these things when I'm this dry. All right. So, my first rare, and I'm really excited about it, is Jakar. Enlightened Jakar. So, character cards. So, you have Jakar in the first couple of seasons where he's pissed off and angry. This is him enlightened. I love Jakar. I love the transformation he makes in the series. Um... Uh, Mercen Tiles, um, a character enhancement. Uh, I think they got killed. But we'll look at that later. 
a little closely. Um, this is another common card. It's an aftermath. Lead us trade no more. So, um, it is an aftermath card. And we will take a short break right now. Hey everybody, sorry about that. I am a father that has a whole lot of medical issues and I'm not going to let him just sit there and suffer. So, um, it's kind of sad, but we're just going to move on. We're going to open up our next pack here and we have ISN Reporter, which is a character card. It's our common. <coughs> we have a Pack Mara Lurker. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, it's a group card. And then we have a Ranger Initiative. That's pretty cool to have one of those. Um, it's a neutral character and has Multiply and Ranger on the card. So, <coughs> again, I don't know what that means, but it's another character card. And then we have Power in Concession. Continuance. Continuance card. <coughs> <coughs> so, well, the continuance cards are beginning to pile up a little bit, but only a little. <coughs> Event cards seem to be a major play card. Um, so our uncommons, though. Wow, my two rares were stuck together. Alright, so. Aftermath, wrong place, wrong time. Uncommon. Fighter base. Uh, location enhancement. Fighter base, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. And aftermath, no mercy. Delen, very emotional. All right. <clears throat> Diplomatic payoff, a contingency uh, card. Excuse me. Jeez. <clears throat> payoff. There we go. Sorry, guys. And then we have Pride of the Karig. Karig. Rig. It's a uh, Narn Fleet Enhancement. So, <clears throat> there we go. That's my two rares there. And then I have Labor Strike, which you've already, already seen. So, let's go and put my commons up there. <clears throat> so, my commons, my uncommons there, my rares right there. And let's go to the... <coughs> Second stack of packs. All right, Mr. Chase, a neutral character. Um, see here, I think he's a weapon supply person. And then another character, a Centauri courtier. There we go, new uh, Centauri character. Call in a market. Call in a market. Hmm. Diplomacy conflict. So our conflict cards right there. And then finally, another continuancy card, which is a location continuancy. That's interesting. Ground forces. <coughs> so, put that over there. <coughs> and then my three uncommons are first, first two are enhancements. Agenda an enhancement, a descent, descent, diplomatic channels, <clears throat> non-aligned character enhancement. What were you thinking? Aftermath. Um. There we go. All right, my two rares. This looks. Oh. I'm excited about this character too. It is a Volon character, Lita Empowered. I like that. I'm going to put that next to John Sheraton, actually. <clears throat> um, again, we all want the characters. I really want to find a, <clears throat> a Galarig. <coughs> <coughs> um, 
Oh, jeez. Garibaldi character. Alright. And then my other one is Well Puzzled. It's an aftermath. Alright. And then finally, an event. Battle Momentum. Battle Momentum. Alright. So, my commons, uncommon, and then I'm putting one of my rares up there. All right, a conflict contingency, parlay gains, first uh, common, and we have a Narn character, Narn Nigo, Narn, Agitator, Narn, yeah, so, <clears throat> sorry guys. <clears throat> All right. Um, another common. It is shadow. So show the colors. Military conflict. What are those conflict cards? There they are. <clears throat> and then we have another character contingency. Hard lesson. <clears throat> and then our three uncommons is going to be light. Sh um, light. Sh light shines. Event. A fleet enhancement, third squadron, and then uh, unexpected return event. Um, and that's Mr. Morton when he was barbecued. After he was barbecued. <clears throat> All right, major agenda. So this is the second major agenda I'm getting. It's force majori. Um. Force Major. There you go. All right. Volon Order. A global enhancement. That's pretty cool. My two rares. And then Sacrifice Play. An event card. So. <clears throat> we are down to... It looks like, let's see, that's eight, nine boosters. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, we've seen this one, we've seen this one, and one aftermath. There we go. <clears throat> Black Ops Consultant, neutral character. First, I'm seeing that. Life Pods, Fleet Enhancement. Um, <clears throat> glow. Oh, hang on here. Those are our okay. Our commons. <clears throat> our ancient enemy global enhancement. So the name seems pretty cool. Ancient enemy. Failed goals. Lost aftermath. Um. Oh, this is an interesting picture than this card. It's a faction enhancement. Propoglade. Uh, um, it's actually not from the series, but one of the Babylon 5 movies. Um, I want to say the second one. I can't remember the name of it, though. But it basically tells the whole story of the entire <clears throat> almost series of the... Uh, of the uh, Babel, uh, so the human Mimbari war and all that kind of stuff. That is uncommon. My two rares are going to be guard resources. It's an enhancement cons continuance. Um, interesting. <clears throat> and this is a moment ma ma momentum uh, facility event event. And after of uh, Affirmation of Support event is my last comment. <clears throat> oh. Alright guys, let's get this done with. Alright, so marked out is event. Um, oh, we've seen this one. 
Uh, you do not understand is an event. I've, okay, security override. I haven't seen that. That would be probably useful. So, uh, uncommon. So this is a side conflict. Sub, sub, till influence. Subil, subil into influence. Um, a non-aligned fleet. Drazi strike fleet. So that's pretty cool. Attack outpost. Military conflict. My two rares is going to be Volon War Fleet. That is probably a really good card. I like it. Vorlon Warfleet. And then Global Enhancement is Shadow Watch. Alright, and my last um, <clears throat> is a non aligned character, which is Bra Braxer Merchant. And we'll put that with the character cards. Alright, this is beginning a little bit faster. <clears throat> I'm not coughing as much neither. Alright, so let's see here. Aftermath Battle Hardened. We've seen that. Aftermath. We've seen that. We have not seen Babylon 5 Enhancement. Med Lab. That's pretty cool. And then we just saw this one. So, that's another character card. Alright. My uncommons is going to be uh, reservation reservations. It's a global enhancement. Um, it's an, this one is a event. It is a ten tenuous control as a standstill at a standstill aftermath. Those are my uncommons. My rares is a non-aligned character. Dagul, Dagul, I don't remember his name. So, and this was a mistake. It's an event with Dylan, and we all think Dylan is an amazingly strong character. Too bad most of the characters nowadays are not. I really want a Dylan card too, not just Garibaldi. And skirmish event. All right, let's go ahead and stack these where they belong. Go to the next booster pack. <clears throat> All right, Cheat Fate event card. That's probably a pretty good card to have. Um, falsified orders. Not a bad idea. Security override. We solve it. Influx plans. Influx of flexible plans. All right, let's go ahead and look at our uncommons. First one is a contingency. Peace divided. Sounds like the U.S. to me. Oh, okay. Julia Man Mustenteya, human character. Evil bitch, um, but attractive. Let's be honest with you. All right, and then screened, screened fleet contingency. All right, my two rares in this booster is playing both sides. It's an agenda. <clears throat> Strange bed followers. Strange bedfellows. Oh, bedfellows. I just don't seem right. Conflict card. Those are my two rares. And then I got another uh, Babylon 5 Enhancement uh, Med Lab. And I think that's going to be helpful. At least I hope. I really don't know. Alright. Ties to the Mighty. Character Enhancement. Let's put my other cards up here. Security detail. It's a group card. Uh, let us stray no more. I actually think I've gotten this one before. Aftermath. Yep, we got this one. It's a continuum. There you go. And oh, oh, this is cool. Hang on here. One, two, three, four. These is the first of my uncommons. 
<clears throat> and these kind of look scratched up a little bit, some of these cards. But, <clears throat> Egyptian God Frustration. Um, e Egyptian God Frustration. That's pretty cool. And funny. All right, effect. Let's see. Effectancy enhancement. There we go. Oh, there we go. And then the price of fame. After aftermath. And my two rares in this booster are is ooh power play event. So it looks like it's the uh, Psychor. Target character you control increases your unrest by any amount. Target character gains a number of shadow marks equal to the change in your unrest. Interesting. <clears throat> Intervention Force. Babylon 5 Fleet. And there are shadow vessels there. I'm sorry, not <laughs> white star vessels there. So that's pretty cool. The last common is Play for Keeps. It's an event card. Target a conflict. All characters gain a strife mark while particularly um, par while participating in conflict. So, <clears throat> again, I'm very curious about what, what these conflicts are and what how everything works. All right. So the let's go ahead and put all my commons back up here though. So the first column in this part in this pack is a Mambari character. Lenin Len An Lenin. I don't really remember him. I'll huh, I'll faded ill fated res Ill face faded reverses. Hmm. Let's put the conflict right there. Okay, location conspir continuance bolstered defenses. Over there. <clears throat> um so defense defensive tactics, character enhancement. All right, my first comment is we are not impressed. Global enhancement. Maybe you're not impressed, but if you are impressed and you enjoy the what you see here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, especially if you're a Stargate. I'm sorry, a Babylon 5. I just started Stargate for my dad. <clears throat> uh, Babylon 5 uh, fan, if you like the card game. Go ahead and share it with your friends, but please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys very much. Um, pushing Limits, Aftermath. There we go. Shadow Base, Location Event. Right there. Those are my three uncommons. My two rares are Non-Aligned Group Consultants. <clears throat> um, I think this is by about uh, the end of, oh, I think it's fifth season. Um, the upper hand. Ah, continue, uh, conflict. So, Sheridan has Mambari Cyclops, or, uh, Psy Telepaths, um, protecting him from Bester. All right, and then my last event is a Time for Heroes. And I must admit, this event, it looks really cool. Um... I almost wish they'd redo some of the battle sequences, but at the same point, I'm afraid they're going to screw everything up, so I'm glad they don't. Um, that's why they need people like me, who actually love the series and just want to change not the characters, but actually go in there and remaster like the digital stuff and make it into really cool ships and stuff. Same designs, but really much better combat and see if that sells in the stores. Man, they really need to put me on like the uh, payroll, don't they? So we've seen Skirmish behind the curve. So this is an event card. Oh, sk sk 
scapegoat event Garibaldi. I like it because it's Garibaldi, to be honest with you. And I really haven't seen a card focused on him yet in the three sets I've opened. Um, event card out of the loop right there. So these are our first four common cards. We're going to put them right up here now. And we're going to start our uncommon. So, as you guys know, I got Zathras. Um, I got Zathras too. And so I got Zathras, Zathras, and Zathras. So I got all three Zathras's. The rare Zathras, the uncommon Zathras, and the common Zathras. Uh, I bet you wish you had Zathras. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, my next uncommon is a group... Uh, civil Servants. <clears throat> I really like them on Bari. And a ca neutral character. With a really dumb look on his face. Lou Welch. Alright. A Major Agenda is my rare. Defend the race. Races. And it's when Sheraton needs to tell he's pissed in this one. Alright. I've already... Uh... I think I might have gotten this one or something close. It's the first one's involvement event card. So, and then finally, security, security details. We've already seen this one. Put that right up there. Put my rares over here. My uncommons right there. And we're down to two packs, guys. Two packs. All right. <clears throat> uh, network support group. Um, neutral character, Colin Ban. Colin Ban. Um, Detain Assassin. Uh, Aftermath, Detained Assassin. Alright, Aftermath. Entrap. Continuance card. Um, I'm also wondering if the continuance is kind of like a, uh, a counter spell card from Magic, kind of like that, but I, I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and look at Stace Status, Stasis, um, Global Enhancement, Victorious Rumors, Um, oh, I got so excited here. Um, um, quali quality leadership, faction, and enhancement. So, I got excited because I thought it was a character card, which I hope she has one. It better have one. I'll be pissed if she doesn't. Alright, here's Agenda cons Continuancy, Hidden Treasure. And order maintained. Military conflict. And finally, finally, silver tongue event. All right. Put that there. Put it there. Okay, guys. Last booster. So please hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. And let's go. Okay. Strange talk. It's an event, Spirit Co Cooperation, Spirit of Cooperation event. And a Time for Heroes, we've already seen this, but it's cool, I'll show it again. From the Sidelines event, it's a third common, I'm oh, sorry, fourth common card in a row. So let's do our Uncommons next. Planet Wide Unrest, it's a conflict card. Um, Ancient, sorry, Advanced Fleet, Narn Fleet. That's good. Lost Lost Outpost, which is a character continuance card. Hmm, my second fleet, uh, so my, uh, my rares here are second United Fleet. It's a United Fleet card, which has, a, again, United Fleets in there. Okay. Um, well publicized. Aftermath card, which also looks familiar. And then my last card, which is common, is Ties to the Mighty. Character Enhancement. Alright. 
Well, those are the cards that I have received in this last booster box. Again, I like the fact that I got Sheridan Reborn and I got Lita Empowered. Yep, there we go. Sheridan Reborn. Lita Empowered, Sheridan Reborn. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to keep this up here. So that concludes all the booster packs being open. Um, in my next video on Babylon 5, again, it will be the ch doing the checklist of this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I do a combine. I'm going to do the checklist, and then I'm going to do a combined checklist of all three series. Um to look at some of the card names that I missed. And primarily, uh, it'll be a shorter one to look at the character cards I missed and what character cards are in these first three sets. Because why aren't they coming out with a Marcus card? Um, yeah, his face is on something, or were they saving it for later? Um, <sighs> yeah, so there's a lot of questions I still have of why I haven't seen certain cards. But I believe there's almost 400 cards this set. And so I, my theory is there's a lot of cards I will not get. But we'll find that out in the checklist. So um, you guys have a great day. I will catch you guys all later.